Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Linksys Router Zero Day. Today, a researcher from IOActive warned that he found 10 vulnerabilities in a number of consumer and small business Linksys wireless routers. Specifically, the researcher analyzed the Linksys Smart Wi-Fi EA3500 router, and he and other researchers found 10 different vulnerabilities in these particular routers. Now, they haven't shared the technical details yet since Linksys still has not patched these, although they are working on patches. But overall, the vulnerability include two denial-of-service vulnerabilities, a number of flaws that might disclose sensitive information from your router, and the big one is a remote root vulnerability that could allow attackers to execute code on your router. Now, even though that is the biggest vulnerability, that is one of the vulnerabilities that requires authentication, meaning a bad guy already has to know at least one username and password on your router in order to leverage that flaw. That said, of course, the denial-of-service and some of the other vulnerabilities are unauthenticated vulnerabilities. Now, even though the researcher specifically found these flaws in the EA3500 model router, uh, Linksys says it affects their other smart Wi-Fi EA series uh, routers as well, and also affects some WRT models. By the way, these routers are mostly kind of consumer devices, so they'll mostly be found in homes. I suspect some small businesses might use these uh, Linksys devices as well, but if you're a bigger or medium-sized business, Business, chances are you probably don't have these routers, but you should check to make sure. By the way, most of these vulnerabilities only work if they have access to your web administration portal. In most cases, you only expose that internally to your local area network. However, you can expose it to the internet as well for remote management. In fact, these researchers used Shodan to scan the internet and they found 7,000 vulnerable devices online. On top of that, they found that over a thousand of these devices actually still had their default password. And remember, the big remote root vulnerability in this case requires an authenticated user, so all those devices with default passwords can be exploited. So if you're a Linksys user, what should you do about this? Well, unfortunately, Linksys hasn't patched yet, but the updates are coming soon. Uh, these routers do support automatic updates, so Linksys recommends you turn on automatic updates. On top of that, as always, you should change your default passwords. If the uh, device comes with a default account, you absolutely need to change those credentials. Finally, be very, very careful exposing web management interfaces to the internet. In fact, if you're a consumer, user, I recommend you never do this. If you absolutely need some sort of remote management, you really should offer it in some other way, maybe having a VPN to a routing device that gives you access to your internal network, or at least limiting who has access to that remote interface. Anyways, great information from the researchers at IOActive, and if you use these Linksys devices, be on the lookout for those updates. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.